What is going on everyone? Jake Blinn here and welcome back to Apocalypse Movies and more of our trailer reactions. This time we are stepping away from the world of film and we are venturing into animated television with the brand new sneak peek trailer at Star Wars Resistance, the new anime style TV show that's going to be debuting on Disney Channel, uh, I believe on October 7th, uh, which is a Sunday. Um, and yeah, this is the new animated adventure from Star Wars. Uh, it, it's kind of in the anime style, the 2D version, if you will, in comparison to what Rebels was with the 3D. Um, very different look and style as far as animation goes. A very different looking TV show. Uh, this takes place just either weeks or months before The Force Awakens. And so we're diving deep into the sequel trilogy era uh, with some of the characters as well. We saw Poe in the first trailer. Uh, we saw a glimpse of Phasma. Now from what I've been hearing is that this trailer definitely shows a lot more in the vein of classic original Star Wars. Um, stepping away from what the first trailer showed. And I've seen screenshots of course because the internet is the internet. Uh, so I do see that uh, Leia is involved in this trailer. How? I'm not sure. I'm going to find out. I do see that Phasma is involved, which was announced when the trailer or when the show was uh, revealed. Um, and so I'm not I'm not surprised by that aspect at all. But I am interested in seeing what they're going to show because it is a lengthy two minutes and fifty plus seconds. Um, that's quite a bit for a trailer. Now again, this is a TV show, so there's a lot of footage that is not going to be shown. Uh, but it is a pretty lengthy uh, trailer. Now, I wonder if this trailer would have been shorter if there was a better response to the first one. Now, I enjoyed the first one. I liked it for what it was. It's a kid's show. This is the most directed at kid's show that they have done so far. And so I, I know what it's going to be going in. Now, uh, could this trailer be a little bit longer and a little bit uh, cut differently and showing different stuff because of that response? We'll never know, but I'm gonna watch the trailer. I'm going to take a guess and I'm going to see if I'm uh, interested in checking out the, the show as much as I think I'm going to be. So here we go. Cool little countdown. Okay. Can you imagine what it's like to be an ace pilot? More of what we know so far. I love the racing aspect of this. It's true. such a cool thing to do. Especially with how the progress was in react to in episode one. Special. I see it. There's gonna be some really cool aerial stuff in this show. And okay, more of a synopsis. Poe hires it, basically. What was that? What was what? The throwing and the falling. <laughs> Over there. That's such an Oscar <laughs> Isaac type of thing. What was what? You can work as a mechanic on my team. But when it comes to your mission as a Ooh, spy, red armor. I don't want anything to do with it. Kasuda, good luck on tomorrow's big race. I don't need luck. Being an ace is not all fun and games. I hope there's a lot of racing in this, in this show. Just I think it's such a cool thing to do. So what? different. Oh. You can't the hype. Okay. Follow my Interesting. Signal. Ooh, what is that? There are a lot of dangers out there in the galaxy. When people are in need, we help. Hey, more of the resistance Check. stuff. It's all in the wrist. Oh. Never seen that in the world of Star Wars. Welcome back to reality. <laughs> Professionals, you say. I'm an ace pilot. I've battled pirates and marauders. Pirate strategies have been changing. What do you mean? They're better prepared. They have better equipment. I don't know how. Ah! Ooh, is that Bosk? Oh, Star Killer Base. Here we go. Here's the good First stuff. Leia, there she is. Weapons. <gasps> Kylo Ren's fighter. All the help we can get. You ready? Let's do this. A blue X-wing. I like it. Phasma. I want the station completely there she destroyed. Is. I knew you missed me. Here we go. Oh, this is exciting. I appear to be tingling all over. <laughs> Sunday, October 7th. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, they definitely showed a lot more as far as what the show is going to be. The first trailer is so far different from what this one is. Um, it does not do what the show is going to be any justice, in my opinion. 
Um, there's a ton of stuff to kind of dive into and and look into in detail and kind of wonder, you know, what it's going to show, what's going to be different. Uh, just getting right into it, we see that Leia is involved some capacity. I don't think it's going to be a huge role. I don't think it's going to be something gigantic. Um, she'll probably pop up here and there because, again, she is almost a mentor to Poe, and Poe seems like he's going to be the one kind of heading this all. Uh, he might be in the show a little bit more than what we were expecting. Um, Captain Phasma obviously is going to be a big part of the bad guys, uh, which I think is a fantastic idea because she flopped in the movie. She was a big disappointment in both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I do think she's dead. I don't think she's coming back, and I don't think she should. But she can flourish on a TV show like this. You'd be able to dive a little bit more into her character, kind of show how much power she really has, and it could be very fun for the character and for the fans to see that. Um, the, the One of the big shots I saw in that trailer was a number of First Order ships coming out of hyperspace, and you see the ship that Kylo Ren was on in the very first scene of The Force Awakens. Now, that could very well just have been a shot to kind of anticipate and tease fans. That could be the shot we see Kylo Ren going down to the, to the planet in The Force Awakens. It could be the very last shot of the show, or it could be something later on where he actually shows up in the show, which would be really, really cool. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. If he does show up, it'll be very minor in my opinion, uh, but it could be something really cool for a lot of fans who follow this stuff. Um, and then obviously the, the biggest thing is that it gives a kid vibe. Now, you cannot go and hate this, tr uh, this trailer or this show because of that. That's what they're setting out to do. This is, this is what this show is meant to be. It's meant to be for the kids. Now, this isn't Rebels, where it's for both. It's not Clone Wars, which had much more of a darker vibe to it. This is meant for the kids. Now, you can't go and hate it. I'm gonna watch it. I wanna see what it's all about. I wanna see what kind of canon stuff they have involved, the new characters, because it looks fun, it looks interesting, it looks different in the world of Star Wars. Um, but for all of you that are like, oh my God, this looks like so stupid, why are they doing this, blah, blah, blah. You can't hate on it. You you can't like if you don't want to see it, you don't want to see it. Just don't watch it. They're doing it for a certain reason. Respect that and just let it be its own thing. Because at the end of the day, like George Lucas has said all along, he didn't make Star Wars for the adults. He made it for the twelve year olds. That is exactly what this show is doing. So I like the trailer. I like what they're showing. It's very different. Um, I'm digging it. I'm excited to see what it's all about. Check out that premiere on October 7th on Disney Channel, not Disney XD, but Disney Channel at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Eastern, so 7 p.m. here on the West Coast. Um, yeah, so that is my reaction to the brand new Star Wars Resistance sneak peek trailer. Um, head down to the comments, let me know what you thought of it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you going to look forward to watching this show? Are you going to watch it? And what are you looking forward to or not looking forward to most about it? So head down there, leave your thoughts. I'm always down to comment and respond and have a conversation about it. For me, Jake Blin, I can't thank you guys enough for joining me today. Uh, hit that subscribe button. More of those equal more content on a daily basis. We really, really like doing this stuff. You guys give us more subscriptions, the more stuff we can give you and have a little bit of fun doing it. So again, thank you for joining me on my trailer reaction today. And until next time, see you later.